Warning, this is not intended as a substitute for professional medical care and diagnosis. There are always risks associated with weight training, and none of the instructions or meal plans should be performed without approval from your healthcare professional. As with all exercise programs, you assume certain risks with your health and safety. If you choose to participate in these risks, you do so of your own free will and accord. Michael McBath is a certified personal trainer with National Academy of Sports Medicine. He is not a medical doctor, and nothing in this video should be misconstrued to mean otherwise. Muscles of Motivation is not responsible for any injuries or death as a result of using these techniques. Muscles of motivation, baby. Let somebody else throw in that towel, because I ain't throwing it in tonight. What's up? So now we're moving on to the third exercise. And man, this is getting fun. I'm getting pumped. My muscles are looking good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm starting to feel a burn. So now we're going to get into the machine flies. And I do these because I can focus on that middle back. That middle back is my favorite part to focus on, the swimming pool. I love having a swimming pool in my back. And if you know it, if you don't know what a swimming pool is, then that means you need to work your back out. When you get that deep depth in your back, oh my God, it's beautiful. So I'm only going to do four sets of 15, but I'm going to superset it with the back extensions. Now the next two exercises, it'll be all about supersetting, but it'll only be four sets. And the reason why I can do four sets is because everything I just did up to this point target everything that I'm about to work out right now. So I don't have to go crazy and do 100 sets or 19 sets or 8 sets because I've done that already. Now I'm just working on the interior. So now as I'm doing these back flies, I think I start off with, uh, let's see, you had 115 plus the 555. Five, five. So I'm starting off with 125. So I start off with 125 and you notice I'm getting some good some good i'm making good love to this machine and when i say i'm making good love to this machine that means i'm getting in some good reps i'm getting in some good pumps the weight don't feel too heavy i feel like i can go a little longer so what i do i go to 15 then i pump out two extra more just because it feels so good so once i finish with this i immediately get off this and i go in the back extension now you'll notice i start adjusting the back extension just a little bit as the workout goes along because i like to do it at a different variations Plus, if it feels a certain way on my back to avoid a certain injury or to avoid a certain strain, I know exactly when to adjust it and how to adjust it. And I adjust it properly. So when I'm doing the back extension and I'm coming forward, the more I'm coming forward from being from tilting back, the more of a burn I'm going to get. So this is why I adjust it. You notice I adjust this. I do 15 reps. As you notice on this, I take my reps very slow. This is the only exercise where I take my reps slow. Just because I know my back, I know how it works, and this is not one of the machines that I really want to go fast on. I do hip thrusts. That is like doing back extension, except you're working the lower extremities as well. But I do those fast, so therefore I don't have to do this as fast. So as you notice, I do 15 good reps. And then I get out that, and then I go back to the machine's flies. And then I increase the weight on it. I'm always increasing the weight either 5 or 2.5 pounds. More than likely, I'm doing it 5 pounds because 2.5 pounds is not really an increase to me. It is a good increase depending on how you're working out. But to me, I like to try to increase it as much as I can and get the same amount of reps out. So what I do is I increase it, and I get these beautiful reps out. I mean, these good, beautiful reps. As you notice, I paused in the middle of it, not because I came up short, but because I hit 15 and I want to do some extra ones. So I hit 15 and I do some extra ones. So then after this, you know, I jump back on the back extension. And by this time, I'm adjusting the weight to exactly where I want it. I'm starting to feel the burn. I've also increased the weight. So now that I'm doing my back extensions and that's feeling really good. So I hop off that and then I go back into the machine flies again. Now remember, I'm getting short, short, short red spirits on this. So this is my third set. So I increase the weight and then I'm starting to feel it more once I get to like eight or nine. Like when I start feeling it, like let's say if I was feeling this at eight reps, that means I can do eight more reps. So what I do is I don't count until I start feeling something. If I'm feeling something, whatever rep I felt it at, that will be the next amount of reps I have to do 
before I can stop lifting. Now that is only on certain exercise. And I did it on this set, just this set only, because I just felt that way. So then I jump off that and I go back to the back extensions. And then I adjust it again. And then I increase the weight. And now I'm doing slower reps and I'm even contracting more of my abs and I'm even contracting more of my lower abs and I'm letting my back be relaxed. Now I'm really targeting the front core a whole lot because uh, this is great for the core. Like in order to have a great core, you have to have a great back. In order to be able to lift heavy weights, you need a great core. I've known lots of people who try to lift a lot of heavy weights who had bad cores and then they end up with a lot of injuries. I am trying to prolong injuries. Injuries will happen, but you can prolong them and you can work through them. This is what I'm here to teach you is how to avoid injuries and then how to come back from an injury if you do get an injury. Because if I told you you would never get injured, I would be lying to you because you're going to get injured working out. It's just a part of it. It's just a part of working out. But you have to have that mental concept that, hey, you're going to push past it. That's what it is all about. One time, for instance, I tore my rotator cuff. The doctor told me I couldn't lift for a certain amount of time. I think it was like five or six months. He told me to stay on the bands. I did the bands, the resistant bands, and then when I came back to lifting, everything was fine. You know, I was able to get my weight back up, my bench press back up, because not only did I listen, but I learned my body. I actually came back sooner because I learned my body. So the key to it is to learn your body, study your body, listen to your body. Be sure to watch part four of this video. You can find the link in the description below. Muscles of motivation, baby. Who can't do it? They can't do it, but we can. Make sure you follow me and subscribe.